Okay, I'm going to try the one-handed bit here and show you a phase two. I'm trying to get Sparky to eat. I've set this yam and um, turkey underneath her heat emitter for about 10 minutes. You just set it under there for about 10 minutes, and then you feel it. See, it's, it's softened up. It's about room temperature now. You don't want stuff too cold for your turtle. Um, so this is about room temperature. I've got a little bit of purple cabbage mixed in, which I'm sure Sparky is not going to be too happy about, and will most likely spit out. But anyhow, um, here's the turkey, and it's softened up nice. So I'm going to try this, two of her favorite foods, with what I already have. There is her, her dish on a rock inside a plate and a glass plate or you can use ceramic plate whatever it kind of helps to keep the food from getting all over the habitat also some people take their turtle out of their ha original habitat feed them in another one sparky would never go for that so you you kind of have to let your turtles be your guide a lot of times with a lot of things so then and you don't want to use your fingers like i'm doing unless you want to get a nice nice bite when your turtle is interested in uh, eating. So, uh, and Sparky is interested in the turkey. So, and there's the sweet potato. That's the two favorite things. So in order to keep them enticed, if you keep wiggling the food, which I, I don't really have to do right now since Sparky is loving that butterball roast turkey. Uh, another thing about turkey, um, if you want to be sure to get your turtle to eat and you want to try all of the everything possible to get them to eat through the winter, you want to have most flavorful foods that you can get. and. Uh, I have gotten some of the most horrible turkey, uh, off-brand turkey, and it doesn't even make decent gravy. So you want to start with um, a good turkey for you and your family, and make sure that date is dated way ahead of time. I learned that the hard way by getting some turkey breasts that had um, a date of December and it's November, so you don't want that. You want something dated uh, three months ahead of time for turkey. You can check yourself. Uh, stuff that is brought in fresh. Uh, we went and uh, we went another place and got uh, more turkey breast, and it was dated way ahead. I mean, I, I'm not really sure. It might have been May um, that it was, it was dated ahead. So, you know, when it's dated way ahead like that, it hasn't been sitting in the market for months and uh, you can get a good name brand like Butterball but if it's been sitting for um, a, a period of time in uh, the freezer section it's still going to lose a certain amount of flavor because I learned that the hard way I, I, I went ahead and fixed them up and froze them and then I ended up getting one that was uh, the turkey breast dated uh, way ahead of time and it was by far a better flavor and Sparky um, loved it. Uh, so um, I, I roasted it uh, for about a, an hour and a half on uh, 325 with the roasting pan lid open to actually roast the turkey. And, um, and then I put the lid on it to keep it from over browning. And that works for me. It's a combination of roasting and uh, and then the lid helps it from drying out. But that, that was just the way that I did this. And boy, Sparky uh, loves it. Now there's a little seedling in here that is a red seeded Simpson seedling. And uh, I know that some turtles will eat seedlings. Sparky hates fruits and vegetables. And there they are. And I know this should be chopped up really teeny tiny fine. But... I just wanted to show you, uh, you know, it, sh it should be teeny tiny fine mixed in with the uh, the vegetables. But I wanted to show you the way that I um, froze this. Uh, so, you know, you, if you take their favorite food and you take and you mix it in and uh, or sit it right on top in little pieces, then they're going to get 
uh, other things mixed in. Sparky even has that seedling right now in his mouth. Now this is a super picky, picky turtle. But when you have some things that's super flavorful, that's their favorite, like turkey or a good grade of chicken and the yam, um, that that really helps get them in the in the groove of um, really chowing down. So it's Sparky's getting some uh, yam mixed in, and I even leave the skin on the yam because Sparky's actually taken a bite off of the skin, and I've even heard that some turtlers, when those um, banana peelings gets real brown, have eaten uh, nibbles out of um, the uh, banana peeling. So Sparky's considering November. Sparky's doing really well. Once I get the super worms, and I kind of sneak a few in there and uh, into her uh, combination of what I told you in the previous video, uh, that I use. There's just a lot of nutrition in here. Now Sparky's accidentally bit into that uh, seedling again. As we have a uh, a, a, a green, a, uh, a, I guess you say greenhouse, actually growing room and we're starting. We got some seedlings going right now so we hope to have some herbs and things and uh, parsley is another good thing for, for turtles because it's supposed to be good for parasites. I have never had Sparky wormed, a complete worming. I, I did have her the vet, and they did give a bunch of stuff to give to her. And she had the one dose, and I was supposed to continue. But Sparky had gas all the way home, and I thought, I'm not subjecting Sparky to the, this worming. I'm just not doing it. It may do her more harm than good. Didn't even know if there was any kind of an overload of parasites. And I've had Sparky for over nine years, and uh, that was the only instance of worming. Uh, Sparky goes through periods of not eating, which I think cleanses the gut. And um, I have, I have, I've never, and I've tried to really keep a close check check on the fecal. I know that sometimes you can have this overload, and it doesn't show up on um, the, it doesn't show up in the um, stool. But um, I just, uh, I try to avoid as much as possible, do things organically that I can, uh, like the parsley, if you can get a little bit of parsley in them, try organic approaches every way that you can to protect your turtle's gut, because this society is, it, it, it's just all about drugs, 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 and I, I just think there's natural ways, natural remedies. Uh, my great grandmother was an herb doctor, and I, I believe herbs um, have their place, and that um, drugs should only be used as a last resort. That's just my take, but I'm sure a lot of people would disagree with me on that. So uh, I, I hope this helps your turtle.